All right, we're going to remove the power board. I'm actually not going to remove that right now. It's stuck right now for the time being. So we're going to remove the power board. Power board or screws here. Uh, here, here, and there's another one somewhere else. But start removing those screws. There should be like four of them. Okay, there's a special little tool that um, Care Fusion provides. You can buy it. Uh, I don't know how much it is, but it's part number 11599. Now this actually will remove the um, the power board easily without having to try and jiggle it back and forth. So it, it just looks like this. All you have to do is stick, there's a curve right here, a little notch along the side. You want to stick that behind the power board and the other piece um, rests on top of this um, turbine manifold. What you're going to do is just pull up, the unit itself pulls out, and it releases everything. So it's a nice little tool. It's probably expensive as well as everything else. But here is our solenoid manifold, which we can now remove. I don't know why it wasn't coming out before. There. So there's our solenoid manifold. And this is our old power board. Doesn't matter anymore. You can throw it away. Or, or, but since it technically is good, you keep it in case you have a problem and you're not sure if, I mean, if you don't want to use a brand new one, you can use a good old one. So there's that. Now it's time to put everything back in. Okay, so the one thing Care Fusion likes to do, I've never seen a company do it before, but um, they like to keep track of every single piece that you put in. So that being said, there are certain parts that have serial numbers that they track and they want them. So um, it's, they actually have a document that they'll send out, um, but for this piece right here and the alarm sounder, those are the only ones in this PM that actually matter. And the PM, that's key. Now if you start replacing parts, other parts like the analog board or motor board or whatever else, then those things usually have part numbers. So um, it'll usually say PN for part number. Part number is not what you want. You want SN. It's kind of confusing. I've messed it up before. Now the number that we want to record for here is not this number right here. It's the number on the left side where the solenoid manifold actually goes into. You can either do it now or you can do it later. Um, if I do it later, I usually forget. So best to do it now and you're going to want to write it down on your service record underneath uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, power board and you're going to want to write down the lot number that you installed as well as the alarm sounder the alarm sounder as i said just a little bit ago it is not the part number there's two different numbers one says pn part number the other is sn serial number you want the serial number you don't want the part number so make sure to get that or a lady and Care Fusion will hound you about it. All right, next up is putting our brand new power board back in, followed by um, solenoid manifold. Actually, we can do that right now. It's gonna be very difficult to get in later. Um, so you're just gonna to wanna to slip this back in as such. That's back in, and these wires right here, they don't matter how they actually go on these two pieces, but we're just going to slip them on as such. Doesn't matter what way they go, every way is the correct way, just like that. Now when we actually get this back in, we're going to want to kind of angle it a little bit.